We're going to spray you for two seconds with (laughs) police officer's pepper spray. And I just need you to stare straight ahead. I want to point that at myself, God. And after this, we will reduce your charge. If you can withstand this. Your honor. We're going to, we're going to finally pass judgment. You, my friend, just entered the house of Padre. Sorry, I'm reaching from a beer. Counsel, you may approach the bench. An order in the court. Guilty, guilty, not guilty. This is cringe court. To cringe or not to cringe, that is the question. Whether tis nobler in the mind's eye to do stupid shit online and get a lot of likes, or by opposing, end it. This is Cringe Court. We are going to make the verdicts that predict what the internet should be like. Today we've got All Caps Cat. Hello. We've got Mr. Sean Barrett. Whoa, whoa. We've got uh, Spencer Bray, Faded Farming. Hello. What's your name? <laughs> Drew. God damn <laughs> I got it. Uh, we got Drew. We got we got Drew as court artist. We've got Cam and Allie as the jury. Let's not waste any time. Welcome to Cringe Court. All right, stop. We're very busy. Right. Do not clap. That's yeah, not sorry, clap sorry. time. Sorry. Pardon me, Judge. It's not a clap time. All right. Let's take a look at case one. The People versus TX2. Now, TX2 is a musician who makes emo rock music. We're going to review some of his stuff and determine if he is cringe or not cringe. Let's roll the clip, Bailiff. Okay, so we have this man... Uh, with a tie saying that he's a short person that has a lot of fans. He's sort of walking around the room. I guess he's filming this in public. This looks like some sort of food hall. Sounds uh, good. And the song is called I Would Hate Me Too. Okay, so so what we see is sort of like a very emo dress character. Eyeliner, he's sort of done doing the tie. A lot of stuff that we thought died in the 90s with Avril Lavigne, but it definitely didn't, and he's keeping it alive. We have a special segment right here. We're actually going to call this Taking the Stand. We're going to call up TX2. He's here? He is here. We are going to call up this gentleman, Evan. Oh. He is here. We're going to call him up. Oh, TX2. Right. TX2 in the building. Have a seat. Me. He is being ac- right over here. This that's is the witness me. seat. That's me. Here Evan. I am. TX2, real name, Evan. He is being accused of grand cringe, which is oh. a felony offense. Oh, I see. Yes. That's right. Get this on. He did not know what we were doing today. Uh, we are accusing you of cringe. How grand do you plea? Based, plea. based on that, he's just accused of being short. I mean, yeah. I plea with that. not guilty. All right. Well, let's look at some additional evidence. Counsel Bray, what do you think of that first clip? I don't know what to say about what's going on right now. Okay. But I'm going to need to see some fucking evidence right now. Okay. You need some well. You need to see some evidence that he's cringe. cringe charge. Grand cringe charge. This is charge. one of the highest, of, young man. I don't know what you have done, but you don't move anywhere. I got my eyes on you. You got. You it. don't move. Play the tapes. Second piece of evidence. Let's roll the clip. Hey, Bill Lee, it's nice to finally meet. Hey, Bill, you find me pretty wearing a dress in the street. Do you want to come and see what I hide underneath? It's a gun and it's free. You should point it at me. Okay, okay, okay. I, I think I've seen enough. So what what are you doing here? Uh, I'm trying to raise awareness. Uh, this actually happened last year. There were several states that were trying to pass laws banning drag shows in public spaces, which I think the government should have no involvement with. So I wanted to call those governors out by name in a song. And sure enough, it went viral. And uh, I just wanted to spread awareness of an issue. Do you think you succeeded in spreading awareness? It got 2 million views here, and then it got like 20 million views or something on Twitter. Mm. Uh, and then actually uh, a bunch of like Republican news outlets ended up covering this song too, which is pretty crazy. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Daily Wire covered it, which is nuts. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. cool. Uh, so, but also it, uh, it's been used in a lot of uh, protests as well. Uh, it became like a protest anthem, so I, cool. I, I'm... I'm really proud of this. Oh, congratulations. Okay. Did, did Ben Shapiro talk about it? Not or ben one, one of his people. Uh, Matt Walsh. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucking crazy, funny. dude. Yeah, what did Matt Walsh say? Uh, he thought it was like milk toast liberal music. Uh, it was like, uh, what, what do you, can, can I? You gotta can say I, whatever you want. What do you say? Yeah, I, something I, about like an old man. And he was like, this guy's like yeah, this 30 years old and he's in a dress yeah, or something like definitely that. Definitely not 30 years old. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he said, I'm an old man in a dress. And I was uh, milk toast liberal lyrics. I love the milk toast line. Uh, and then uh, what else? I can't remember anything else. But that would be a good. 
clip. Got it. Got it. So so basically, when they see your, it seems like when Republican people see your videos, they they're like, this is the future liberals want: men in dresses and and eyeliner singing about uh, issues. Uh, the evidence here says that you were accused of some cancelable offenses, notably telling a uh, telling a person online that they should self harm. Is this accurate? Technically, but not. I have. I would never tell somebody. Okay. Was well, a very to hurt themselves without in using it in like a joking or breakdown manner. The only time it passes is if it's in a breakdown. This is a very serious accusation. Let's just run the clip. To put it bluntly. TX2, Yan, Caroline, MGK are the gimmick without the substance. They're trying to achieve the okay, gimmick. gimmick. They're trying to use stereotypes to get famous, to get popular, and they use fetishization to get popular. It's the gimmick without the history, without the substance. They dye their hair and wear eyeliner and buy from Dolls Kill, and that's enough to get them where they are. They've got the gimmick, but they don't have any fucking substance. Where's so, her uh, like she got this the This girl is just projecting every the insecurity <laughs> into him. Like, what are you Hello, talking about? Like a high topic Kyle. like his <laughs> shirt? Like, it's go true. away. You can tell that he <laughs> Come after to me. Early okay, I will say this is something that emo, type of music they identify the as they, and it was also something that people were really upset about. I accidentally said she... But that was an accident. Oh. They identify as they. But that is I, I that is feel something. Like, if I you, feel like, you know, I, 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 if you realize it later, there. like that's 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 just gonna happen. Like yeah. we're all sensitive. That we're all you know. You, we'll call you what you want. Like I you can't know. Happen. Like I agree. you know. Do they? So this hot topic poser uh, doesn't like him for whatever reason. I don't know. I just see a a, a person projecting their own insecurities into it, someone who's actually doing something and not just commenting about it. So apparently after this person said that they'd self-harm, if you said a certain word, what was your reaction? So they said, so there was one, uh, can I tell the story real quick? Yeah, Do I have time? Okay. Me. Okay. So Cam and I were in the studio uh, in Arizona, uh, right, working on an EP at the time. And then we saw, uh, like, when, after our session, we, we, we were getting food and we saw a video where this person makes a three-minute video. It gets, like, a half a million views because it's hateful and that's what people want to see. And then uh, we were like, this is ridiculous, but it would be hilarious if we clipped because they were like, if I hear TX2 say goth Tommy one more time, I'll shoot myself. And we were like, that would be nuts if we were like, do it! Like, as a breakdown right after. Um and so we made it into a breakdown on the song the next day. Can we play a, a clip of that song? Yeah. yeah. And people got upset about that? Yes. Yeah. Huh. Yes. Well, at, that's, at, that's from you being way. attacked. Well, and then what it turned out, and, and then this is where we got canceled online for this, uh -huh. is that people were saying we were like telling someone to kill themselves and this is harmful, which by the way, I would never tell someone directly. And you, there is, I've never have. I Call me on it. I never have. Told someone to kill themselves directly. Mm -hmm. Like this is, this is just... Okay, but it's in a song, and it's, but it's clearly, a it's, it's a ridiculous statement. It do, ridiculous statements deserve ridiculous answers. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not so sure what to think about all that, but I believe this falls under a certain clause. Uh, Council Bray, what's the clause called? The clause when you try to bully a larger creator and they actually come back after you? Fuck around this and find is out. The, wow, we're pulling this one out of the treasure chest. Yeah. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first time here. We present to you the fuck around and find out clause. Yeah, the fuck around and find out clause really dismisses him of the felony charge of grand cringe because, you know, clearly when you submit yourself online and try to bully a larger creator, you have, you know, willingly or unwillingly signed yourself up for the fuck around and find out clause, which I think this does fall under the jurisdiction. Now, as far as the dressing up and the sort of like, you know, emo scene stuff goes like we still have to render some sort of verdict because you have made some people feel uncomfortable in different ways. Wait, oh, wait, there's the do the it. If you want, if you want the do it, it's the hardest breakdown made. That's the one. Oh, oh, sorry, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This never. Oh, is that the wrong song? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, no, it's the right. Oh, it's the right song. Oh, here there it is. Go. Yeah. Goth dummy mommies, one more time. I'll shoot myself. Okay. Okay. Hey. So that, that, I mean, this clearly falls under the, 
Who cares? Who cares? Who kind of fucks it, actually? It's, it's I'm yeah. a 14 to like 21 year old who doesn't have an identity yet that's so desperately grasping to feel like you belong to something when really you need to do all that inside work on yourself. But if you're not actually willing to do that, what you do is go you go out and you project on people who are more successful than you or who are actually doing things so you can get you know, accolades from people you don't know so you yeah. can actually feel something. Likes. But when these people actually become adults, those opinions aren't real. It's a song, like as the only certified juggalo right here, if you know about juggalo music and Insane Clown Posse, it's all about like, you know, murder and all this stuff, but it, it's fiction, it's, it's, it's for the bit. And like, this is him being an artist and just doing that, it's no, it's no different. I'm sorry that that, you know, yeah. person feels like that, he owes them something because he does music. It's crazy to me. Like that's yeah. that's ridiculous. Like he didn't do he didn't do anything. I will say that it's expected though. I can from just seeing that if you were to be like, "Hey cat, do you think people are going to get mad at me for this?" I feel like it's expected that your community is going to cherry pick that and go go after you for yeah, it. Yeah, the emo community and the punk community in general is very sort of apt to prey on its own like an Ouroboros. They're, yeah. They're always eating their own tails, <laughs> to be fair. I think that's one of the kind of fun things about that type of music. But Evan, <clears throat> what do you have to say in your defense? All right. I uh, believe that I am not guilty uh, and guilty at the same time because I feel, oh, I feel like, what? I feel like, Art is cringe in its own way, and, and putting yourself out there can be perceived as cringe. But I feel like that is my right as an artist to create art and to and to talk about my feelings in my music. And when it comes to uh, you know telling someone was this wrong, no, it's art. I feel like people should not try to censor art in any way, as long as it's not like actually horrible about an actually horrible crime or something specific that is like you sh if you shouldn't make a joke about it maybe you shouldn't make art about it but other than that i feel like people should be allowed to make art i have never told someone to hurt themselves i never would uh and i would never condone that i don't think that's like the, a, a valid you know what i'm saying but in a song yeah well, it's art I, I i should be able to make music about, about killing people yeah. and that should not be wrong Truth. I agree. Yeah. Because it's I art. Agree. We should yep. be able to make movies about that. Being accused of cringe and then admitting he is also cringe, that's a, it's a pretty not cringy thing to do. <laughs> Kat, I counsel, respect, what do you think? I respect that. And I think you should not be apologetic for what you did. And you should double down. And you say, this is what I said, and I'm not backing down from it. So good job. I think I think he should have said goth dommy mommies over and over and over yeah, again. Yeah, you should. I think that yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. We all know that would have been funnier. Council Bray, what are, your, what are your, should we reduce him to a misdemeanor? What do you think? I apologize, young man. <laughs> Um, I apologize for the feelings I had about you when you came Mr. in. Mr. Sean Barrett. I, I, oh, I'm sorry. I cut off counsel. I apologize. Oh, my God. I have been violated. <laughs> this is insane. I'm sorry about the things and the way I felt about you, young man. <laughs> it's, it's, just, it's okay. You came here, and I saw a video of you. This is someone who practices their First Amendment right, and, and we uphold that here. And you need to practice the Fifth Amendment, too. What the hell are you doing telling on yourself? Mr. Barrett. Uh, I think I, I pretty much covered it. I Yeah, I, I think it's just literally a bunch of sensitive children whose brains have not fully formed yet and they want to feel like they're a part of something that they don't really know anything about. It's, you know, the songs are good. He's doing something. He's being uh, controversial. That's that's I good. Agree. That's good for the business. So we're going to drag this down to a potential misdemeanor charge of cringe, but in order for us to get this completely dismissed, we need you to undergo a trial of pain. So what we've got here is I'm going to ask Mr. Sean Barrett to stand up and move uh, out of the way because uh, oh, we've got some what? pepper spray here. Oh, fuck. Oh, uh, we've got pepper spray. Let me, uh... So right. I'm going to stand All right. back. Let me get out if of here. You what? Are, if you are punk enough, if, if you're dedicated enough, I'm we're going to spray you man. for two seconds with <laughs> police officer's pepper spray. And I just need you to stare straight ahead. I want to fucking point that at myself, God. And after this, we will reduce your charge. If you can withstand this... Your we're, Honor, we're going to we're going to finally pass judgment. I just said I liked him. Okay, well, I don't give a shit. This is going to be. Am I going to really hilarious. do this to this? Do it. Wait, wait, look at him. Wait, what am, I, what am I doing? They I want me to pepper spray mic. you because you've been bad. Hold up the pepper spray. <laughs> this is to clear you of all charges. Is he accepting? I don't. Are want you it. accepting? Are you accepting of this punishment from cringe court? I mean, wait, wait. wait well, one one quick question. <laughs> Has anyone here been sprayed by pepper? I've never been sprayed by pepper. I got tased before. one time, but I'm what not going to talk about I've never, it. I've I've been near this before, but we are going to do it. I, uh, and okay, Your Honor. All right, he says okay. Oh, He's God consented. Dang. 
Three. This fucking job. Two ones. Council Bray, please administer Hold justice. On. Let me get my aim right. <clears throat> administer justice. Three, two, one. Get him. Oh, shit. It's water. <laughs> what a stud. <laughs> <laughs> we got her worse than we got him. All right. Hey, Sean, here, take him. this for me. <laughs> so. I now hold the court in contempt. We're going to pass. We're going to pass judgment. So, seeing as Evan was willing to take physical pain in order to reduce his cringe court sentence, I judge him not guilty of any cringe. He may continue doing what he's doing forever. <laughs> now, next up on the docket. Stop, stop, stop. Thank you. Thank you. So next up on the docket, is it cringe to tell your friend that you're about to pepper spray him for a bit when it's actually just fake pepper spray? Bailiff, roll the clip. Administer Justice, three, two, one. Get him. Oh, shit. It's water. <laughs> what a stud. <laughs> we got her worse than we got him. <laughs> yeah, that's everything you stand against. Yeah. Oh. What a hypocrite. You've become the monster you preach against. He yeah, made me yeah. do it. Well, well, the thing is, no, now, check it out. Now, I think the people who did this did this for views. They wanted to get a good reaction out of him, and I think that's what we got. Is Take that not everything this court's, court kind of stands Well, I mean, we, we judged little Mabu of not cringe for faking a gunshot in that's a previous fair. episode. So <laughs> if technically he was never in any physical danger, we were just using him to promote our own profit, which is technically fine. <laughs> what do you think, jury? It's a bit of a tougher offense for me uh, personally, as I've been pranked before. This hits close to home, uh -huh. but I'd say you narrowly are escaping cringe here with this one. God, God. Well, the jury seems to be on my side, Allie, What do you think? Am I? Is what I've done emotionally manipulative enough to be considered cringe, or is this just content? I would say it's a little cringe. Maybe Evan's a little traumatized from that right now. Evan. Well, I mean, we, we don't really want to hear from him. Let's hear from the let's hear from the lawyers <laughs> first. Kat, do you think what we did was cringe or not cringe? I think it's cringe. Okay, got it. it. Is, yeah. You thought that was unfair for me to invite him onto the show and yeah. pre-plan a bit where we were going to pepper spray him, and it did look like he bought it. Especially if it's for views. I, I did. Yeah. I was preparing myself to be pepper sprayed. I was going through your mind. Okay, go ahead. Counsel no, no, no. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, that's definitely not okay. It's just like if, if you... You know, you put a one of those to my head, and then at the very last minute, you're like, "Oh, it's it's not real." Uh, that would cause a lot of trauma to me, and I'd probably sue you. Uh, but the coolest thing about it was he was just like, "Yeah, all right, cool." So we got you got to kind of give him credit. The fucking well, soldier yeah, right I there. Want, I want yeah. him to say, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, honestly, kind of a lesser man would have panicked and been like, "I, would I didn't sign here. up for this." Did you? Shit. Did you? Did you not want to look like a pussy? Well, when, I. Is I that why? Tell us why. Uh, yeah, I. I was I was like, huh, I didn't expect that. But then I was thinking that pepper spray wouldn't kill me and then I've been tased before. And then I was like, if if you guys are doing this, this must be a thing you guys do. Yeah. So then I was, like, I, was like, I, I was like I was like I mean I like I, it can't be that bad. Yeah. That but he was wasn't thoughts. you were fully ready yeah, to get pepper yeah, spray. Sure. Yeah, I just didn't I didn't I mean it was like very good, Thank very you. Good. Wow. Very good. All right, cool. Well, we'd like good to trade you now to Okay, so first we'll pass the ruling. Uh what what I've done is very bad. You shouldn't hold up something that looks like a legitimate weapon and uh, spray it on your friend for views. Like, I'm I'm ashamed that I did that, but I did think it would be funny, and I cleared it with everybody. But they, did, some people did say this might not be a good idea. But now you see, even I must judge myself. Like that was, I'm sorry. No, you're good. Shouldn't have done that. No, you're good. The, okay. The judger has become uh, the judged. I judge fake pepper spraying your friend to be cringe. I failed. I failed. I failed to uphold the laws. But we will now bring you on as a lawyer to react to the rest of the show. Come get your blazer. All right. Yeah, you're clear of crit. Nice. And now we're going to resume as if it's a normal show. Oh, oh hell wow. yeah, man. Welcome wow. to the fucking wow. team, man. Yeah. Wow, that's all yeah. I have to do. Where's the blazer? Should I put this somewhere? Yeah. Should we give him a chair? <laughs> give him one of them chairs. Yeah. You yeah. Get, you get yeah. yeah. Here, dude, you get a pile of money, too. Yeah. Welcome to being an attorney. Oh, Here. Wow. Yeah, so there you go. You get a pile of money. <laughs> Whoa, we're fucking thing. All right. How did he look? Did he look scared? No, I think he didn't. I think he, he didn't look scared at all. He was like, do it. He was really calm. He did honestly. a really good job. So, so for those of you listening on the podcast, uh, Evan displayed little to no emotion. Uh, I think he was just sort of ready for it. I think he trusted that we weren't going to fucking fuck him up on. I, I was expect. I was expecting I pepper, spray. pepper spray. Pepper spray. Oh, okay, cool. Well, yeah. you know, for those of you who are like, ah, oh, boo, TX2 is a poser. We didn't prep him for any of that at all. And he was ready to get pepper sprayed. And everybody sort of played their role. Everybody got up. Uh, Cam was fooled. 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, you got me, dude. All right, cool. Dude, please tell me. We, hey, we you sprayed me with that. Yeah, I but yeah, yeah, yeah. I got hit with it. I so I just wanted to so make we sure. We tested it. I was yeah, like, I if you want me to do it? I gotta let it but get done. But we were done. having a beer before this. We were like, should we just like spray Evan? And we're like, yeah, why not? Fuck it. And you did. So. Uh, All right. Anybody who questions his credibility knows that he has credibility here in the cringe court. That was cred. fucking really badass. Let's rock and roll. So we are going to go on to our next case, the People versus Lunch League. With Lunch League for Mr. Beast, Logan Paul, and KSI. Let's look at this. Lunch League versus Lunchables. With Sorry. Lunch League, you get double the amount of liquid. Prime has no sugar added, more electrolytes, and more B vitamins. Crunch Bar. With three Ooh. famous YouTubers. Beastables Crunch Bar. Yeah! Essentially Our pizza Lunchables. Uses real cheese. Theirs, as it Remake? says on their box, is mozzarella pasteurized prepared cheese product they can't God even call it. it real cheese Ooh. we're also 30 less calories three less grams of fat and eight less grams of sugar <laughs> turkey <laughs> stack them 310 calories 230 calories Negligible. 21 grams of sugar only seven Same. grams of sugar if you look at this close up you can already tell which one has better ingredients yeah. all right we'll start off with the lunchables Bro, uh, I'm sorry. That's oh trash. Man. Right, okay, so he spit. Like, so we're seeing Logan Paul <laughs> try his own product all, and then spit better. out the competitor product. Get this <laughs> yes, in. Oh, sure. and and grams that of sugar. is supposed to convince us Seven grams this of protein. Nine grams product. of protein. Mm. Come in close and look at the queso cheese and lunchly versus whatever that this is. This ad is garbage. Drip versus stick. I like my cheese. They drip both look This is a lunch salsa right here. Look at the consistency, the texture. And this is Lunchables. This Look, it's watery. It's I can't even look at that. With 400 milligrams of electrolyte. Like my God! And it's available for around $4. Oh. Super affordable, go give it a try. Oh this is, okay, so Council, what we've just witnessed is three multi-millionaires <laughs> basically comparing a new food product to an ancient food product that they've marginally improved by adding electrolytes and B vitamins. What do we think, Council Evan? Uh, is, can you fact check this? Is it all true? Well, I'm sure it's fact checked by the FDA, but these these claims are hardly better than Lunchables. It seems like their entire marketing is it's better than Lunchables, where it's only marginally slightly. It's it, like, I would imagine it's still processed like, meats and things. You're right? setting the bar at the fucking ground. Yeah. You're like, we yeah. made a better product than dirt. Check <clears throat> it out. Right, right. I'm I, well. Okay, so so I I'm a, a I got to see it to believe it. Mm. So I, I I would have to taste both Lunchables and and if it's if if. Because technically, I don't know for a fact. It's probably not a big difference. I like to also play devil's advocate. We I can't ever so decide. We just so happen to have Lunchly's right here. Oh. Holy oh. shit. That's correct. <laughs> we, All right. We oh are going God. to judge this product fairly on Cringe Court. Ca uh, I'm sorry. All caps cap. Yes. What, are your, what are your thoughts on this commercial? I think it's brilliant. Not cringe. Because, okay, they're... Laying out the facts for lunch, they're comparing the two, and that's probably for parents, right? Mm. But then Logan Paul's like Academy Award winning ad libs are for the kids <laughs> because they're like ultimately they're marketing towards like a very young crowd. So this mm. works. I mean, it works because they're addressing health concerns for parents and then they're acting it, you know, acting it up for the kids. It's great. All right. Uh, Council Bray, what are your thoughts? He spit out a Lunchables. You spit out Lunchables? He spit out a Lunchables. Oh, that's that's how that fucked up to you. Oh my God, do you know how offensive that is? I can't believe he did something like that to spit out a Lunchables. I've been eating those in my, my entire life. I feel do like that's- Do you think they taste good, honestly? They don't it's taste eating. that bad. <laughs> like, like, I mean, Council I like- Bray. I, Council, Council Bray is actually claiming he's an expert witness in judging Lunchables. Lunchables are fire, man. I love Council Lunchables, Council Bray is an expert eating Lunchables. And, and I've never today, tried Prime. Try I want to be judgmental about them, that's spit correct. out the Prime all over the place. Do we have a small table we could bring to hmm. Council Bray so we can put this in front of him? There's one right here. Oh, right there. Yeah, give me Let's this get the one. Off that. Give me this, <laughs> Mr. Sean Barrett. What do you think? What are your thoughts on the ad? Uh, I kind of agree with Cat. Um, it's good marketing. I, I, I think the products are not that much different. It's, it's both garbage. It's like comparing like Subway to Quiznos. Like, it's just you open this it's up. Garbage. Uh, <laughs> you, you open that up. Go get um, the other one. You want I this like one? the colors more. Council Bray. So Council Bray has never tried Prime or Feastables. And as an expert in Lunchables, he is able to tell us legitimately. I, I have Lunchables. tried this Prime. Mm. Guy. Go ahead, describe this experience, Council Brown. All right. So what we have here, we have a small box, about an eight and a half inch, 11 inch box. Blue advertising. It's got three things on the front cover. A piece of pizza, with pepperoni and cheese. A Prime hydration drink. And a Feastables Milk Crunch chocolate bar. 
I want to try that chocolate. Here, you can have the okay. chocolate bar. So done. we'll put we'll put Council uh, Barrett in charge of the chocolate. Who wants the pizza? Uh, who, wait, don't you want the? Oh, pizza? I'll take the pizza I think too. Everyone, there's enough for a couple Prime is good. I've had it. It is. It's honestly, I'm gonna be, it's hold on. Should I shake it? Gatorade. Okay, no, on. you don't need to shake it. I'm not gonna shake it anyway. So let's open this up. Um, Council Barrett, could you open up the, the l- lunch leaves? Yeah, yeah the this pizza, is all the, of our the, first time eating lunch leaves. I, I, I've I've never had a um. A lunchable? What? No, dude. Oh. I'm gonna be serious. Wow, about, what? Wow, I'm gonna yeah. be serious about this. I'm not I, oh, fucking okay. around. Okay, right. Does that not look like mold right there? Oh my goodness. Oh no. I was rooting for them. Well, it's I don't purple. know if that's mold. That could be dye from the package. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Not it's that just dye from the better. package. No, Never that, mind. No, no, <laughs> not that it makes it better. But let's just sort of go. Can we? I think we should show the camera that. Show the camera. Yeah. Here. Uh, Are we able to shut to get like a, a oh, zoom I in think here? We have that's over here. Like so purple quality control. Maybe this is a, a brand new box of Lunchables that are. Um, this is a brand new box of Lunchleys that, to the best of my knowledge, was stored properly. And our first experience is a potential contamination issue. That, although I say it might be dye from the packaging, that's still unacceptable for food product disseminated to children. No, you I know? don't think it's dye because the dye is on the other side. It's not the other like the. The backside is clear, right? Uh, Al Cap's cat may be accurate on this one. Boy, I think that is mold. Oh boy, oh boy! Yeah. Bailiff is identifying <laughs> a major contamination issue on our first lunch lease. What, what's the expiration date? What's the expiration date? Oh, hold not on, that it should matter. This is a brand Do, new product. Yeah. Have Have they been stored December? properly since? We don't know. They've been in and out of refrigeration. So if uh, we I can't store it. We can't properly, crush we can't, them. We can't yeah. crush them. But I'm now. not we gonna drink that prime. You can go ahead and oh, take that somewhere oh, else. Good, dude. I'll try that. <laughs> I ain't gonna touch that. I've, oh, I've dude, never what tried the hell prime. are you doing? Giving it to me, bailiff. Mm. I would say that we we purchased this product and it was uh, refrigerated fine. Seeing uh, a spot of mold on there does indicate a lack of quality control. Nobody on j- the jury wanted to try it because they fear it might be contaminated. It's not like this is probably real cheese anyways like it's probably easy to keep this shit preserved so already lunchly is getting very negative review uh council barrett has just consumed one of the chocolate bars what are your thoughts chocolate's good tastes like crunch bar no chocolate's like chocolate's fine all right very well score one for mr beast what's the price comparison between the two do we know these are 80 bucks (laughs) (laughs) can we try this here i'll I'll take this one let's get some taste who's tried the prime I tried the prime. Did I try prime? Prime's good. I like prime. Yeah, you prime is prime? good. I like prime. You never it's had like, prime before? I've never had prime before. It's like Gatorade. Oh. It just depends on the flavor. Council, like the flavor not. Council uh, TX2 is going to try a prime. You want to waterfall that? Let me get a kiss out of that thing. You want to waterfall that one? Yeah, no, no. Get, you hit it first, baby. You okay. <laughs> <laughs> could do whatever. God damn it. Ah, very well. That's really good. Yeah, let me. T- let Wait, me you waterfall it because I, I want to have some. Yeah, here, let me. I'll, r- I'll rip this thing here. That's really good. Yeah. Uh, looks like the price difference is <laughs> nice. 50, 55 cents between the two. That's oh, that's shit. It's good. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. Oh, shit. Crazy. I actually, fucking, man. I've been walking by this every I day. It I seems like my like energy. Yeah, that's actually really good. I buy the energy drinks. I like those. Mmm. Mmm. I want some. Mm. This is slowly just becoming an ad for yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Baby, that's, I love bananas, man. Yeah, Lo- I guess I mean, Logan Paul's going to sponsor us, but uh, Mr. Beast, not quite so fucking much. Fucking hey, That shit ain't bad. Dude. Remember, Can Mr. I Beast, I'm now? easily yeah, lo- bought. Logan's doing it right. I don't know about Mr. Peace. What, Mr. Beast. There, what, what am I opening? So right now I'm opening the uh, Prime really Lunchly. It. It's really good. It appears Robert to be Indiana. the Fiesta Nachos. It's got a red box with the nachos, a Prime, and a Feastables. I too have never, I've never had a uh, Feastables chocolate bar, uh, even though, um, even though I've definitely got vested interest in talking crap. The talking the, crap. the chocolate was no better or worse than anything else. It's fine. It's good. All right, I'm cool. eating with the Can't. cheese product. This is basically like you know how when you go to a movie theater and you're like, man, these nachos really suck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is like. the same experience. Yeah. But to be fair, but it's for a child cheap, with no taste cheap, and It's for a child, but honestly, like this to me is the exact same thing. Here, jury, would you like to try some? I think I'm all right. Okay, jury is rejecting it. <laughs> so to me, this is the exact same thing as like movie theater nachos. Yeah. That's cool. That's all right. Very well. Well, hey, Council Bright. Yeah, fucking These hey, ones man, don't I seem to be contaminated. Shit. Yeah, I'm good on that. So the main question in, in to, deter- to determine today is, are they taking advantage of their audience and essentially fooling them? Or are they simply being good businessmen? Let's present this to council. Ta- let's take a look at Dan TDM's tweet first. So Dan TDM says, what happened to YouTubers, ma'am? 
I cannot, I can't not say anything anymore. This is selling stuff for the sake of making money. Simple. How does this benefit their fans? This is selling crap to kids who don't know better than to trust the people who are selling it to them. Do better. And to the best of my knowledge, KSI went on a rant for a whole week, just sort of unhinged tweets and sort of like still recovering from this. And Dan TDM has not responded. Now it's relevant to say Dan TDM is not a drama YouTuber. Dan TDM, I think he just makes playthrough videos for Minecraft. So he does not step into this YouTuber sphere and he has sort of toppled them. He's a very respected character for him to come out and say, what the hell happened to you guys, ma'am? This carries weight. This carries weight amongst millions and millions of young people. So does he have a point? Uh, go ahead. Uh, uh, cat, all caps, cat. What have we got? What I don't think he has a point. No, I don't think he has a point. I mean, selling stuff for the sake of selling stuff. I mean, you, you sell stuff to make money, right? Yeah. It's not like they're selling something that's insidious or poisonous or harmful, right? It might not be the, it might, it might not be like a Nobel winning prize, like product. It's a Lunchable and it's a Lunchable because most of their fan base is kids. Um, whoever the commenter is, he should stick to Minecraft because I mean, his opinion, I don't, I don't think it's valid. He's just, I think he's jealous that these guys are making money. Mm-hmm. I would say that uh, Logan Paul responded. He says, what happened? I'll tell you what happened to YouTubers. We spent our lives creating content and building our brands. Now we want to build businesses. You don't see anything when Lunchables faces bans for allegedly containing lead. But when we create a better version, you're upset. Then don't eat it. Now, Evan, what do you think about that? So this is, this is, a uh, uh, it's interesting. I want to take off that stutter there. I, uh, as a musician, am currently on the and on the drive over. Cam and I were just talking about how stressed we are about money, um, and Spotify does not like. I just barely pays musicians, as most people know, and I don't really. I'm not a YouTuber, and I don't rely off YouTube as my source of income. But I could imagine. I mean, even at that big of a platform, it's probably pretty good pay. But I, I, I just, I, 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 there's nothing wrong with starting a business, in my opinion. I mean, these uh, guys and, are multi, making... multi millionaires. It's not like they're musicians struggling to get by on Spotify. True. And they need to like sell some merch. These are guys who are already vastly wealthier than most people ever who lived. So are you saying they should just stop going into yeah. business and just yeah. make content that is no profit, purely just for the fans? Like that doesn't make sense. It's not sustainable, and it's not necessarily something that's going to give them joy. Not I don't you know I don't know the building. A well, it definitely doesn't give them joy. joy. I mean, none of them none of them have but passion I, for cooking. At the end of the day, they're making you know a, a product for their children that's going to sell well. They're making a product it's, for children. This is targeted at children. I, I do see Council like, Barrett's point. Council Bray, what are your thoughts? Are we serious? Are we serious about this? I are mean, you fucking serious right now? Uh, I These think guys I could be selling way worse shit to yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. I don't really fucking care. All it's, right. it's slightly better. It's not for any of us here in this room. Is his problem with Logan Paul or is his problem with yeah. capitalism? Yeah, you know I, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I, that's, I, I, yeah like, what are yeah, we talking that's, about? That's very but, fair. Yeah, I think it's like, a, like you said, like kind of like a, a jealousy thing. Yeah. The guy's making Lunchables. Who gives a shit? He could be, you know. Well, selling. no, I think. Okay, so to, to sort of argue against, I see jury, I see counsel's sort of thought about this. I think that the main criticism from here comes is that these are gentlemen who are not, who are obviously of extreme positions of power, mm. extreme positions of power. They are able to do almost, almost whatever they want with their money. They choose, so they're going to, they can, these guys could literally release any business they wanted. They could create a unicycle brand and it would sell, right? some useless product that wouldn't be worth anything. So I think the critique comes from creating a product that's just marginally better than like a shitty product already out there. Kind of genius. Uh, kind of genius for making money, but where, I guess it's, it is the problem with capitalism. Where does it end? Is that like, there are already billionaires probably. You need another billion, like congratulations. Whereas I feel like some of Dan TDM's point comes from the theory that like he could, if if Mr. Beast released an organic, I'm not saying he should, okay? But if these guys got together and they're like, we just released an organic, uh, a fully organic brand that is, I'm not saying it's it's they should, but but they have the power to truly enact change, and they're getting heat from like doing what appears to be the bare minimum. Go they, ahead. They they absolutely have that power, but I I think they've probably run the numbers on that. They absolutely know that that would be better. And I think they're probably like, well, we're not going to make a margin off of that. Yeah, not, not to say cost that's effective. not to say that's 
better or worse. It's definitely, you know, a little subjective, fair play, objectively fair play. worse, but like, you know, they're very smart business people. I'm not saying what they're doing is right or wrong, but I, 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 feel, I, I feel like their marketing sucks. Actually, if their whole marketing is we're slightly better than Lunchables and ooh, bro, like this is terrible marketing and everybody who's praising their marketing, uh, in my opinion, that is like they could do a better job. But but uh, that's just my opinion. Kat. Go ahead, uh, Kat. You don't need to do a better job when you're I'm not saying kids are dumb, but kids are a little bit dumb okay, sometimes. Yes, so you are right. <laughs> you don't need to be that marketing sophisticated. To kids, you don't necessarily yeah. need to be yeah. clever. I, I was going to make the same. Got point. it. She Go did. Ahead, Evan. Yeah. Yeah. Evan, what are your thoughts? Uh, in terms of marketing, I would argue it actually is good art, art marketing because we're talking about it. Yeah. And it's like controversy. It. Con that's that's the that's the that's what we hate it on winning. God what, like, what do you, you know what I mean? <laughs> that's, that's why, like the shitty cinematography. Like if it's yeah. too refined, yeah. this audience nowadays they don't yeah. want it. They sniff right. out an ad. To like, be honest, I think I'm ready for a verdict. Even though I have uh, certain philosophical arguments with this, it seems like the jury. Jury, do you have any uh, questions or concerns? It seems like everybody's sort of on the level. It, it, it's a little dumb, but it's it's definitely not cringe. They definitely know what they're doing. They're good businessmen. Could they do more for the world? The answer is yes, but who cares? It's not their obligation. They don't have to. Uh, I judge KSI, Mr. Beast, and Logan Paul to be not cringe for Lunchly. And, and by the way, everybody seemed to really like the prime beverage, and this is not <laughs> fucking ad read. It's really good. Yeah, it's yeah, no, no it's, 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 it's actually Gatorade. Give it yeah. to me. Give me that one. This is right, the one you dude, guys it's really so like. Good. It's the so good. The strawberry banana oh, is fucking it. pumps, dude. Yes, it's a, it's an honorable. I, I just started drawing. buying the Prime Energy over Celsius. Got it. So if we want to get a, an ad sponsor, <laughs> yeah, then I, 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 I have said yeah. on my podcast, I can be bought. I can be bought so easily, <laughs> way cheaper than you think. Like way. When I say my race, people are like, "Really?" I'm like, "Yeah, I, I don't give a shit." You know what I mean? Like so. So, Mister B, Logan Paul, KSI, buy us off. Buy us off. We will drink Prime every day. Yeah. What you saw was a completely unbiased review. This is us fishing for sponsor money at this point. <laughs> God Hell damn yeah. it! The, the, the fucking we've become corrupt. Our next case, the people versus she deserved the purse. One of the more interesting trends. Let's roll the clip. So what we're looking at is a mostly empty baby product aisle with just a lone purse. Sad music plays and it, the text says she deserved the purse. Now, what's interesting is that the comments section actually went nuts with this about sort of hypothesizing that a single mom who was struggling chose diapers over the purse and put the purse back. They've developed an extraordinary narrative over this, and within about a day, it got some psychotic amount of views, millions and millions of views. About a day later, another influencer said, she deserves the purse. And uh, can we roll the secondary clip? It started a whole ass trend of women doing this. So in this clip, a woman is walking down a an aisle saying she deserved the purse and now putting $100 bills in the diapers. Now, this is a very interesting trend because on surface level, on surface level, it seems like a very good thing. Oh, donating money. But we all know how this has become absolutely corrupted. Several videos. Uh, I'm just going to talk about one more bit and then we'll have an uh, audience react. Um, this is the main video. This is the one that sort of did it all with just attractive woman putting money in ostensibly poor woman's baby products in the hopes that a struggling single mother finds it. There are a lot of ethical issues with this, but let's go to counsel. What are your initial thoughts? Kat, what do you think about she deserves the purse? It's, it's, I, the intention is there. The intention is there. It's coming off a little bit white girl savior-y mm -hmm. though. Um, What's that? It, exactly what, what it sounds like, you know, it's just like pretty white girls for clout, um, like saving people of lower economic statuses. Um, it's kind of, you know, it's like there's levels to it. You know, uh, uh, on the face, it's like I'm doing a good thing. But then like on the on the below the face, it's like, well, I'm a little bit better than you. I can afford to do this for you. You need the money. Um, it's definitely a flex. I yeah. agree with Kat on this one. Uh, Council Evan, what are your thoughts on she deserved the purse? I would also agree. I can't I, I can't relate to it clearly. <laughs> I, I, I I I I don't even know if the hundred dollar bill is multiple hundred dollar bills. Is, are they real? Putting, is this real? Like or it's it's just, in this cash. seems totally I, fake. To, I, I am a C I have seems to see all it like to believe social it, point. You know? This is um this is so, such an interesting trend to me because it literally is social points. It's so easy to fake, doesn't require any actual investment. The proclivity of the tr the sort the, the permeation of the trend into society has led people to fake pretending to find the money, has led people to go in and just make their own bullshit videos 
uh, pretending to give the money. There's no way of knowing who's doing this for real and who's not doing it. I made a parody of this and some people got mad at me. They're like, oh, I made a parody where some, uh, can we run my parody? Uh, is it uh, yeah. possible to bring it up? <laughs> so I did a parody of this where a Target employee pretends to see a line of influencers doing it. And some of the comments are from total idiots. They're saying, oh no, the money wasn't for you. You don't deserve the money. Uh, that money's for struggling single moms only. Yeah. Oh, you got to look for uh, Brad. <laughs> oh my God. Pod. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's an old picture. Look at that wow. guy. You stole my name. <laughs> F, F, uh, I'll figure that one out. You got to get scrolled down. Um, so in this video, I made fun of them by putting my friend in a Target outfit, pretending like a line of influencers were just doing it. And then at the end of the video, he grabs the money out of it. And brain dead people in the comments are like, you should put that money back. That's for struggling single moms. As if anyone would have the ability to predict who's getting the money. As if dads don't shop for groceries. As if no <laughs> struggling single dad has ever yeah, bought a as diaper. As if people that have wealth don't go to Target and buy stuff. Like, Absolutely. oh, hell yeah, I got 60 bucks. What do you do with that? I don't know, just throw it in the garbage. Correct. Whatever, we don't need it. Yeah. I feel like this represents a lot. Council Bray, what are your thoughts on She Deserves the Purse? 13 seconds in. Go to that first video you were showing me. Go 13 seconds. The council break catch something? Yep. That's an infant formula with iron. Okay. That is a storage container full of shit that babies put in their mouth. Got it. And you want to put your nasty, poopy 20. Well, it's on a piece of protective film. <laughs> well, I mean, to be Dumbass, fair. they pull... I'm sorry. <laughs> they pull that little lid off and put it on. Play the video. Play the fucking video for these guys. Don't know. Stop. See that white lid? Yeah. They pull that silver lid off. Oh, and then it's that nasty okay, 20s. Okay. Oh, oh my God. God. It's a boot set. It gets started. That's a felony. Yes. <laughs> that is extraordinary. Ah, ah, we're done here. Ray we're is definitely done. proving himself on this one. Wow. Definitely proving. Out of here. Placing a Welcome. contaminated. That's right. Contaminated poopy cringe. bill on There's your baby's mouth. to discuss here. That's right. We're done. You're right. That's really fucked up that is she fucked. deserves the purse it doesn't matter if it inspires people to do the same if even one baby gets i don't know some weird garbage in their formula because of a contaminated you know what's also fucked up is like when parents they go to the store and they pay for something and then they touch their baby after that with the money they touched oh i'm totally fucking with you because that's the same like <laughs> that's, the, that's this exact same like logic like, uh, like touch, it's like come on hey check we're it getting out. a little check late party this here. lady like, what is it but wait but wait but wait but wait i think it is different when you touch your baby with your own hands with your own money you ostensibly are aware of where your hands have been. You make the choice to wash your hands or not wash your hands. Yeah, you what about the, you know, you have a little dinner party for your baby. You you got all these friends of yours coming over. You don't know where their hands are. You don't know if they wash their hands after they wipe. Object, gonna, oh, object, yeah, high five, you, buddy. Like, are you going to object? You're going to let me take fucking floor here? Object. Did you say objection? Objection. Let's hear what you've got to say. Let's get that microphone up. You You know me. Just say objection you know, a little loud. Objection. Okay, go ahead. You know me. Yeah, that's what every Don't predator say says. You know wait, me, wait, I wouldn't do this. That's a yeah. Come on. Mr. Barrett, let's hear what Bray has to say. <clears throat> you ain't got no baby, right? No. But if you did have a baby, yeah. would you want my slimy fingers all up on a 20 up under that baby thing? Oh, you know what? You're so right. I'm going to put my baby in a bubble. I don't want him to see anything or like, uh, and I want to make sure the uh, he has no like ability to fight any kind of germs either. Here's what I will say. Now, and you know what? I'm not going to make my rent. And I only needed that extra 100 bucks. But screw it. I don't want those germs. I'll probably die. We'll probably get kicked out of our home. But yeah, I guess we'll take this out. I couldn't just 409 the top all right, of that. All right, order, 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 order. You guys are clearly, clearly embattled. We need to hear from the jury. Jury, what are your thoughts? You just spray that shit down. It's not a big deal. Uh, what are your thoughts? It's, you cring it's cringe, but not because of the contamination Thank part. you, Cam. It's cringe because of the fake kindness part. Yep. Got it. Agreed. Uh, do do we all agree? Evan? I've been sold on Cap that. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yes. Okay, Cam so, is the voice of reason. So Cam, Cam is the voice of reason. So there are multiple counts of cringe going on here. The contamination charge was definitely fought very, very valiantly, and we can probably just we could we could dismiss that we could dismiss that one to a misdemeanor because at the end of the day, even though even though the $20 bill does carry contaminants that should be negligible, when you purchase a product from a store, there is an assumption that it is safe. It doesn't matter 
The Where assumption you, is stupid. Rats the, the exist. Ass, the assumption, but the assumption when you buy something for your baby is that it hasn't been fucked with. And these things have been fucked with. There are huge laws about this, about food safety and, and sort of sealing to prevent like very minor things from spreading. Yeah, but laws are corrupt. And then we just use those to say these things don't happen. You put a thing in a storage uh, where that three people work in and it has a rat infestation. You think the people who own that building are gonna be like, oh, we have a rat infestation. We shouldn't use this when they're trying to pay those bills. It's there's shit on everything. We can, we can, you we gotta, can cycle you gotta have back. Some personal I do responsibility. See, it seems like, it seems like the jury and most of the council agrees with you, Spencer. Uh, council Bray is definitely correct. We'll, we'll note that, but that's not going to be the, the meaning of this charge. At the end of the day, this is more about uh, performative charity. And I feel like the ease of which it is to fake these videos and the corruption sort of involved definitely reads white savior girl, which is totally what it is. It's an excuse for cute girls to get a bunch of free points without spending any money or using any talent. And it's been instantly corrupted by comedians like myself who have core, who have definitely corrupted the idea. And, and I hope it goes away soon. So although the original meaning and, and side note. How do we know that original purse was even left by a struggling single mom? That might have been some kid True. playing with it and they just left it there and now the world has developed this <laughs> narrative around it. It could have been a, it could have been a very horrible mother. You know what I mean? Who 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 had three purses? Well, let's <laughs> also <laughs> talk about She might have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Restocking fees. Restock. People leaving I, I, shit all up in the fucking store, you well, gotta put it yeah, back. It you know makes what? all of our shit cost more. Making 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 service level employees work more it's is, fucked up. is a fucked misdemeanor up. cringe offense. That's correct. So judging by the evidence we've heard, the people in the people versus she deserve the purse. She deserved the purse is definitely cringe and you should not do it unless you're making fun of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now everybody stop. All right. Next up, we've got is having a thousand bottles of baby oil cringe. Let's roll the clip. I've been with him since eight o'clock this morning um, and it's about almost three o'clock now. He's just laser focused. Uh, he's engaged. He's helpful. Uh, he's confident. You know, we're, we're going through our defense as we do every day. Um, and he's, his spirits are relatively good. How do you explain the baby oil and the lubricants? A thousand bottles of baby oil. Uh, I don't think it was a thousand. I think it was a lot. I mean, there's a Costco right down the street. You know, I think Americans buy in bulk, as we know. Um, and, you know, this is, this is consensual adults doing what consensual adults do. You know, we... We can't get so puritanical in this country to think that somehow sex is a bad thing because if it was, there'd be no more people. Oh, man. So, well, oh, that's not going to age. Oh, man. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I got, I've got a question for Council Cat. Yeah. I'd be up in that Costco sometimes. I ain't never seen no baby oil up in a Costco. I checked online. There's no baby oil. Holy yeah, shit. Because so Diddy gone. bought it all. Yeah. Costco <laughs> has, holy shit. Costco has responded. <laughs> Diddy didn't get his baby oil from us. Cat has expertise in Costco management, forensics, and stock. Costco yes. Cat, what do you think? Uh, all caps Cat, what do you think about this? I mean, clearly this is Diddy's lawyer grabbing at straws. He's trying to downplay the severity of having a thousand bottles of baby oil. Um, someone actually did a AI rendering of a thousand bottles of baby oil in a room, and it's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> um, but I checked, and Costco is correct. There's they don't even sell baby oil, and the, but the fact that Costco had to come out and make an official statement just means that you know they don't they don't want to touch this issue. Yeah, yeah, they must it, be complicit. Yeah, they said keep us out of it. This one seems very crazy. So <laughs> for a rendering, we've got somebody who decided to put. Uh, a thousand bottles of baby oil into blender to visualize what it would look like, and it is a massive amount. You this would need. Insane. I this wish there was something there for scale. It's egregious. You would how, need an extraordinary truck. How big is a bottle of a, a bottle of oil? Like a, no, no. What's the? Is it a liter? I would say like, no, it's like about this. a little bigger than this yeah. bottle of. It's prime. like a quart. It's like a quart. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe about this size. Yeah, it's like a quart. But. It, it, Baby oil can't be used as a lubricant, right? Or can it? No, you can put can. it in. You can? Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, I think maybe. Diddy would be buying lubricant. If he just likes his people shiny. I think. Go ahead. Like, I, I There's a theory online yeah, that what, it's. What's the theory? The bottles of baby oil actually weren't baby oil. They were bottles of GHB because GHB has like this like uh, filmy uh, texture to it. That's very much like baby oil. Does it work if, if you like put GHB on the skin? It was for c consumption, but maybe it does. I don't he know. Who was going to drug a lot. Oh my yeah, God, which is what he's on trial for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For like, sex a, trafficking and assault yeah. and stuff oh, like so that. Oh, so they're saying the GHB is baby oil? They're like, no, no, no. No, no, no. I it's, feel like that would have 
maybe it'll come out later. That's like, too yeah. much. Well, that's that's like this is all conjecture. Yeah, yeah, it's all yeah. conjecture. Yes. Okay, we can't no, no, use no. that as evidence. No, no that's too much. Yeah. Rumor. We need to focus on the facts, which is excessive amount of baby oil. Uh, given the fact that it was owned by P. Diddy, it's definitely used for horrific orgies that <laughs> probably involve non-consenting adults. P. Diddy is cringe. Everything he's ever done is cringe. He did a song once that I think was on the Godzilla soundtrack, and I hated it. <laughs> and ever since then, I've always wanted to get one up on P. Diddy. So look at you, man. You aren't a good musician. I'm going to render judgment on you from my little chair. P. Diddy is cringe. Full stop. Please stop doing anything, P. Diddy. Cringe. All right, good. Clap, well, clap, stop me. clapping. To close up this episode, which was not brought to you by Prime Energy or Feastly. <laughs> I like saying that. We're the weirdest non-ad ever. Uh, we are going to present our courtroom sketch. Let's take a look. What did we look like today? Whoa. Hey. That looks like a rendering of Mr. You? Beast. It looks like you. Like uh, some It does look like a self or it looks like a self You're right. <laughs> wow. Could be either or. Who knows oh, hey, who it is? Hey, do we think Mr. Beast is on Ozempic or do we think he's actually working out? Uh, Well, we think he might. I, mean, I think it's Ozempic. It might can be I, both. Can I say it? You want to yeah. say that you saw Mr. Beast once in a gym? And That's that what's up, dog. I, I <laughs> fucking I pump iron, dog. You know what's up. Yeah? yeah. And where did in, you see him? I can't say. I was working, You know who I was working out with? My boy, Little Texas, dog. Shout out to Little Texas. Okay, little okay Texas wrap up the story. Fox. So you saw Mr. That's Beast that, there. That's all. That's the story. Right, cool. dude, so he goes to the gym. It might not be Ozempic. So I love it. I love it. That's fantastic. Uh, we should we should sell these. We should have people bid on them at the end of the show and sell them. <laughs> so if you want to buy this, uh, write to cringecourtshow at gmail.com. We will sell it to you for a mild amount of money, probably. Because also, if you want to submit a clip, send yeah. an email. So, so let's uh, let's thank our jury. We've got Cam and Allie right here. Uh, Evan, where can we find you online? Uh, TX2. And Cat, where can we find you online? All caps, Cat. Mr. Sean Barrett, where can we find you online? Uh, Mr. Sean Barrett. And Spencer, where can we find you online? Faded Farming Instagram. Right. Big thanks to Evan for joining us on our oh, first thanks. accusation for Take the Stand. If you've got some cringe you'd like to report, please write to us at cringecourtshow at gmail.com. Our voicemail is 202-820-5258. Also, check us out on iTunes and Spotify. Rate and subscribe. The more powerful you make us, the more uh, incredible we can become for your enjoyment. So please join us next week. This is Cringe Court. Cringe Court.